Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanna to show you how to create a fully automatic social media assistant with the help of GPT-3. Let's do it. All right, so let's hop right into make.com here, not waste any time. Here's the workflow we're gonna be building today. We're gonna to use a new AI tool that I found over the weekend, which I absolutely love. I think you're gonna think it's sick. It's called Browse AI. I'll describe it to you in a second. We're gonna use that to scrape the internet for new news. Then we're gonna feed that into GPT-3 to create tweets or social media posts for us. And then we're gonna tweet those out automatically. All of this is gonna happen on a set schedule without us having to touch a single button. It's a fully automatic social media assistant. Let's hop right in. All right, so in this example, I have an NFL audience, people that are interested in the NFL. And I wanna tweet every day on a set schedule content for them, but I don't wanna touch it. So what I'm gonna do, my first step is find NFL news sources. In this example, I'm gonna use The Ringer. They have really good stuff, but you can use different websites, whatever's in your niche. You can use a group of websites and do a bunch of different posts. For me, I'm just gonna show you how to do it with this right here. Now, we don't wanna copy this. We don't want any copyright issues, but essentially we're gonna link these articles in our tweet with customized text, all right? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use this new tool called Browse AI. This tool is awesome. Essentially what Browse AI lets you do is link to any website in the world, even if they don't have an open API, link to them and extract data from them automatically. It's all AI driven, it's sick, I think it's super powerful. Now what you need to do is you need to install the Browse AI Google Chrome extension. Just go to Google Chrome store, add it in, super easy. Then we're gonna to go to the website that we wanna extract data from. And I'm just gonna hit this little button here. And I'm gonna build a new robot. And we have two options. We can either extract data from this page or monitor the page for changes. So in this case, every time there's a new blog post, I want to scrape that. So I'm gonna do monitor this page for changes. You don't need to do that though. You can just extract the whole page if you want. For me, I'm gonna monitor this page for changes. And it's gonna bring me back here. You can see my URL is automatically posted. I'm gonna hit start recording task. And it's gonna launch this new window, all right? Now this is where we're going to set up our robot or AI to scrape this website for us every time there's a new post. So I'm gonna click this little robot up here, this cute little robot guy up here blinking and moving around. I'm just gonna click him. And I wanna capture a list, all right? Now I get this little kind of cursor up here. You can see me moving it around. And you can see I can basically choose kind of what I wanna capture here. All right, so I, first thing I wanna do is I wanna capture a list. So I wanna make sure I get all of these articles. So I'm just gonna click like here. All right, now I've locked in my list. Now I wanna select text to capture. Now all of this is gonna come into a spreadsheet for us in, in like different data fields. So what I wanna do is I wanna get this title right here. All right, and I wanna capture the title. I also wanna capture this URL though, because when I tweet this out to my followers, I want, the, I want the link to this article to be in my tweet so they can go to the ringer.com or if you're linking to your blog, etc. So I'm also gonna capture the link. Then I'm gonna also capture this description. And I think that's it, we'll hit enter. All right, now I give a name for the first field I selected, which will just be the article title. All right, the second field I selected is the URL. And then here, this will be the uh, post description. Okay, and we'll hit check. We give it a name, so I'll just say NFL News. Remember, this will run for me every time there's a new post. All right, and we can see my titles are here, my URLs are here, and my post description is here, so perfect. I can choose how many I wanna pull. I'll just pull one in this example. And I'll select a pagination type of scroll down to load more items. I don't really know what these do, um, but this one seems to work. So I'll just choose that one. And I'll hit capture list. And then, very importantly, you gotta come back up here and you have to finish the recording. So you have to save it. Don't forget to do that. I messed up with that the first few times I did this. Okay, give my thing another name, NFL News, real, I'll hit save. Then we can choose the integral of times that we run this. So I'm gonna run this, I'm gonna run this one time a day, every day of the week, you can toggle on and off here. All right, and then I'm going to just set a time that I wanna run this on every day. So I'll just do um, noon every day. So this will run once a, t once a day at noon every day. It'll scan for new articles and then pull that into that database. All right, I'll hit save. And there we go. So we have my one little output here. And that's step number one. We've set up our Browse AI robot. 
All right, so the next thing we need to do is we need to integrate this with make.com. So let me come back into make. Let me just make a new scenario here and we'll just call it social media assistant NFL. And I will add my first module here, which will be browse.ai. All right. And I want to watch task execution finish. This is instant. So this is the one I want. When my task runs in Browse AI every day at noon, this will trigger automatically. So I'll choose that. And now we hit add. We're gonna set up a webhook. This will happen automatically for us, which is pretty nice. So we'll hit add. You wanna set up, you wanna to connect to your Browse AI um, account by just logging in. So you'll have to hit add here. I've already done that here. As for the robot, I just pick the one that I just made. This is NFL News Reel. And then event, I will just do task finish successfully and I'll hit save. All right, then it loads and it automatically made a webhook for us. So we can see our webhook is right here. And if we come back into Browse AI and go to integrate, we can see that our webhooks is now automatically configured. And we can see that this webhook right here, MTG, is this one right here, MTG. All right, so our webhook is hooked up, we're all integrated and we're good to go. Okay, step number three. Now that Browse AI is set up, we're almost there, we're in the home stretch. We're gonna come here and we're gonna add another module and this time we're gonna add it in a GPT-3 module, create a completion. You wanna connect your OpenAI account. If you haven't set up an account in OpenAI, you need to go do that, get your API key and link this up. I've already done it here, it's super easy, you shouldn't have any trouble with it. Model, I'm gonna choose Text DaVinci 3. All right, so we'll come down to prompt now, and this is essentially what we're gonna feed into GPT-3. So what I wanna do is I wanna take that description of the articles, the one that I mapped back here, and I wanna feed that into GPT-3 and say, hey, create a custom tweet for me based off of this description, and then link in the article, and then tweet it to my followers, all right? So that's what we're basically doing. So I'll say, hey, write me a tweet with this prompt, or something like that, all right? And then I'll come over here and I look for my field out of Browse AI. And it's going to be under this captured text um, item here. But as you can see, there's nothing here. All right. So what you need to do is just hit OK. Save that for now. We're going to run this and just pull in some data. All right. So run this as a test. Then we're going to come back here to uh, Browse AI. And we're just going to run this bad boy one time. And just pull in some data so we get that field populating in make.com. So I'll let this run. Okay, sweet. So we just pulled in some data. We'll come back here to make and you can see that just finished. And we should have now pulled in that data. Let's see if we did. Captured lists, NFL news. Okay, perfect. So now it's finally pulling in. So we can come back here to our GPT-3 module. All right, so now we'll come down to prompt and we'll just say, write me a tweet about this subject. And we'll come down here to our, the field that is now pulling in down here, captured lists or NFL news list. And then you can play with it here. I'm probably gonna do article title, but you could probably also do post description. I'll do article title. So write me a tweet about the 14 NFL playoff QBs, blah, blah, blah. All right, we'll see if that works. Again, you can, you can make this prompt whatever you want, but that should work for us. All right, we'll set my tokens at a thousand or something. All right, that should be good enough. Temperature, I'm gonna to go to 0.9 because the closer I am to one for temperature, the more creative my GPT-3 output is, the more flair it will add. And I don't want my posts to just be like word for word what these titles are. I don't want that. What I want is something creative and unique without any copyright issues for my followers, all right? So we'll do temperature of 0.9, we'll hit okay. Then let's feed some data in. So we'll run this, we'll do a little test and see if GPT-3 is working. So we'll run this again and let that bad boy cook. And there we go, GPT-3 is running. Looks like everything's set up well. We'll see what our output is here, make sure everything's working. All right, cool, so it looks like we have a tweet right here. So that's sweet. Okay, so now the last step we need to do is we just need to tweet this out. So let's go add a Twitter module here. And again, you can use any type of social media application you want here. I'm showing you Twitter for this example, but you can post this to Twitter, Facebook, your newsletter, you can do all this simultaneously if you want. And you don't just have to pull from one source as well. So if you pull from multiple sources, making multiple posts a day across multiple social platforms, you really have a social media assistant automating all your posts for you. Save you a ton of time. So we'll create a new tweet. 
Again, you wanna add your Twitter account here. I've already done so. Then my status is gonna be my text here. And then I also wanna add in my link. So I wanna link this article for all of my followers to click. So if I come back down here to my browse AI fields, this is where I can add the URL that I mapped earlier. All right, so my status will be the text from GPT-3 and then the link. We'll hit okay. And we will test the whole thing and see if it works. So we'll hit run again, come back to browse. We'll manually run this for now just to test it and we'll let it cook one more time. All right, browse AI is done. GPT-3 is cooking and we created a tweet. So let's come to Twitter here and see how we're looking. We'll refresh and boom, there we go. Got a couple hashtags here from the homes to foals and everything in between. These are your top 14 quarterbacks in the race for the Lombardi trophy. And then a link back to the ringer. So that's it guys. We have just created a fully automatic social media assistant that you can use to help you grow and market your business. I hope you guys got a lot of value out of this video. I think this could really help you out. The more and more I learn about AI, the more and more I learn, we don't have to touch anything. The more we can automate here, the more we can save ourselves time, the more we can focus our time and energy on the things that really matter, all right? So thank you all for being here. I really, really appreciate all your support. Go down in the comments and let me know if you have any questions. Go smash that like button for me as well if you like this video. And if you wanna see more videos like this in the future, consider subscribing. Thanks again, guys, for being here. And I'll see you all on next week's video. Peace.